One of my favorite sayings of all time is that of the greeting used by the Maasai warriors of Kenya, Africa. As they greet one another, one warrior will say in Swahili to another, and how are the children? The proper response is to say, all the children are well. This statement serves as a reflection of the value of the Maasai community's philosophy that the state of their children and youth is the state of the future of their community. I am a strong believer that we too should view communities in this way. With the recent tragic events, <clears throat> with the recent tragic events over the past decade pertaining to youth and violence, and the recent unfortunate increase of these incidences in the past two years, I feel that it's become critical that great attention is to be paid to the well-being of our youth and what tools we're equipping them with to not only survive, but thrive. This is why I've chosen my community project to be in supporting the expansion and implementation of restorative justice programming in schools. I believe that youth of today have great potential, given the appropriate resources and tools to resolve the greatest issues of the day. As we as a community place intentional guidance and resources into our youth, I firmly believe that the outcomes will return infinite reward. My hope in the coming future is to partner with the Colorado Youth at, youth at, youth at Risk excuse me, program and Manual High School in order to carry out at least two restorative justice service models, that being peace making circles and restorative restitution in their leadership development class called World Changers. My goal in implementing these two service modules is to support youth in creating their own positive peer culture and to empower them to take hold of their school climate while using the school as a training ground in how they can conduct themselves in the greater community. Using the ideas prior, from prior class sessions of creating consensus within the group, being intentional about my own personal change process as a leader and change processes within the various groups I'll be working with. I plan to connect the strategic use of informal and formal networks in the community to spread the message of the importance of restorative justice programming in schools. Ultimately, my hope is that through the work of expanding restorative justice programming, as I'm sure is the hope of everyone here with their community projects, is that we will all be able to say with good conscience that in fact, all the children are well. Thank you.